Tonight, nearly a week after an apparent overdose of synthetic marijuana took the life of an 18-year-old boy, a close family friend is sharing her determination to get the over-the-counter high off store shelves. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden tells us it's another story of heartbreak surrounding the use of K2. Cheryl? Well, Dave, like they said, K2 has become such a big part of so many big stories lately. The Cipriano beating, a grandmother allegedly shooting her grandson, and the death of a young man. Yes, law enforcement officials, but also family and friends, they want this stuff gone. I'm sad. I'm sad. I lost this little boy that, will, that just had the brightest smile. Oliver was. He such a good boy. Gail Law is filled with sadness and outrage tonight. Sadness over the death of 18-year-old Oliver Smith, a young man she knew all his life, and outrage that he reportedly died from an overdose of K2 or Spice, sold as we've reported at gas stations and party stores all over the metro area. It needs to be banned. It needs to be illegal immediately. I mean, it's just... These kids have too much access to that. Oliver's body was found by a fisherman last Saturday morning on a private beach on Wing Lake. Gail says she actually thinks he went there to smoke the synthetic marijuana to celebrate how hard he had worked over the past year and how well he had done to get off of it. He was just a wonderful child. He would always give you a hug. He always had a kind word. After Oliver's funeral yesterday, so filled with emotion, Gail went to a gas station in Southfield where she heard some kind of K2 was being sold. She wanted to see for herself, and this is what she bought when she asked for the good stuff. And suddenly he went in the back and produced this stronger brand, Purple Haze. We went there today and the clerk told us they had taken all of it off the shelves, that all of it was gone. Gail and Oliver's family and friends, and now even law enforcement, hope that that's true. I say boycott every gas station, party store, or whatever place you go, don't buy propane there, or gas if they sell K2 and Spice. And state lawmakers are on a fast track to ban synthetic marijuana. They have a meeting next week, and we will be following. I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.